today, back at it. We're gonna do a crystal reading, a full spread with a little bit of uh, Tibetan bowl playing. Um, just to help relieve anxiety, you know, it's a lot going on during these times. Um, and we have to remember to stay grounded, okay? Um, whether it be through spiritual work, such as praying and meditating, um, or just through crystal work, you know, crystal work and other forms of things that you may do to help relax your, your, your energy. So, yeah, we're going to do our chakra pool today and we're going to do our crystal pool today. And we're using our same crystal deck, the daily crystal inspiration and our chakra love, raise your crystal vibrations chakra deck. And then, of course, we have our smudging tools popping. And today I'm burning um, some of the love and protection money because that's what I'm giving. That's what I'm um, surrounding everybody right now. And frankincense and myrrh, you know, another ancient... Um, much into frankincense and her um help for clearing and a very spiritual you know help you connect when you're meditating it's a really good um resin for that um yeah and the love protection has the white sage lavender and dragon's blood in it so yeah i'm blow um, burning all three at the same time um and i also have some palo burning too so i just keep adding to this cool but anyway, we're going to start with the Tibetan bowl and then we'll shuffle these cards. Um, I think the three decks that we're going to be choosing from for the crystals is going to be orange calcite. Really good for your solar and sacral plexus um, or chakra. Solar plexus, sacral chakra. Um, and then also fuchsite. Really big on communication and heart work. Okay. And also helps you tap into the Akashic Records uh, and um, Rose Quartz. I think this is really big right now. We need this love energy for sure. Like I said, I'm outside, so bear with me. I really wanted to get some um, outside healing vibes today. So we're going to start this crystal and chakra reading off with a little Tibetan bowl playing. Um, feel free to meditate, feel free to use this time to spark up your smudging tools, your palo, your sage, whatever you have. And yeah.
So we have our space cleansed and cleared out to receive this message. So her distraction <laughs> but we're asking the most high any of our spirit guides that want us to receive this message to come through um we thank them first and foremost right. i've already cleansed my deck i'm gonna take this jumper my deck already. All right. So I'm gonna split the deck into three. The card that I pulled for probably the third time this week is Malachite. Okay. So it's probably backwards in the camera, but Malachite. It says it's time to transform y'all. Okay. So Malachite is gonna be a stone of the heart chakra. Um, and it also has to deal with matters of the heart. So maybe there's something, um, some, some trauma or some, um, instances that you had that are blocking you from, you know, getting prosperity or abundance that have to deal with the heart. So Malachite tells you to tap in and, and basically help you with the shadow work, you know, um, confronting things that may have, like I said, been stopping you from manifesting what you're really trying to manifest. So, it's really a good stone for inner strength um, and prosperity and abundance, attracting all of that. Like I said, that was a jumper. That's not even a part of the spread, but a jumper card that Spirit was trying to, you know, tell us what's up. So, let me put it back in the card and then in the deck and let's shuffle it again. Alright. So we have our space cleansed and cleared out to receive this message. So So Malachite is going to be a stone of the heart chakra, um, and it also has to deal with matters of the heart. So maybe there's something, um, some some trauma or some um, instances that you had that are blocking you from, you know, getting prosperity or abundance that have to deal with the heart. So Malachite tells you to tap in and, and basically help you with the shadow work, you know, um, confronting things that may have, like I said, been stopping you from manifesting what you're really trying to manifest. So, it's really a good stone for inner strength um, and prosperity and abundance, attracting all of that. Like I said, that was a jumper. That's not even a part of the spread, but a jumper card that Spirit was trying to, you know, tell us what's up. So, let me put it back in the card and then in the deck and let's shuffle again. Alright. All right, so that's the spread. The three crystals that y'all have to choose from, like I said, is the orange calcite, having to deal with sexual energy, creation energy, um, and help balance the sacral chakra and the solar plexus chakra. 
all right so that's that pile and that's what that has to deal with uh, maybe womb healing maybe um healing sexual trauma healing um yeah healing sexual trauma maybe strengthening the bond between you and your partner sexually um, so yes, that's the sacral chakra and solar plexus chakra stone, orange calcite. And then we also have fuchsite. This has some mica in it, if you can see. I don't know if you can see it, but it's kind of shimmery. It has like like glitter, it's giving glitter. Um, but this, like I said, the Kashic records, um, a stone of communication and the heart chakra. So matters dealing with the heart as well as maybe communicating um your matters of the heart maybe you feel like you can't um say exactly what you want to say to a loved one or just period maybe you're just not communicating and um lastly we have rose quartz we have big rose quartz trunk so this has to do with anything of the heart chakra anything dealing with self-love love for others um, maybe healing love relationships or just relationships period um, between friends family whatever so yeah pick your stone and we'll go one by one and talk about the pools all right so this is the pool y'all this is if you chose orange calcite which is this crystal right here this is your pool so for chakra healing we have the sacral chakra Okay, and that even corresponds with the stone that we have. But another stone for the sacral chakra could be a fire gate. And the message for this chakra is creation. The flames of destruction will ignite a rebirth. Okay, so tap into that energy, transmute that energy so that you can create. You know, I really resonate with that because a lot of my art and things that I create come from um, not having or just trying to just get that shit out the mud real for real so that's the energy that that's giving um, other sacral chakra crystals on top of fire gate and orange calcite would be carnelian okay that's really that's, that's the main one that I work with um, a carnelian I just made a uh, ring actually with the carnelian stone in it so um, yes tap into those it's going to be typically your orangish reddish stone sunstone um, even down here, aragonite, that's a sacral chakra stone, okay? Um, you're talking about solar plexus as well, because like I said, the orange calcite stone is good for both the sacral and the solar. You didn't talk about pyrite, um, golden healer quartz, um, what else? Car uh, uh, not carnelian, but what's the other seed I'm looking for, y'all? Um, Mom, can I go get my dog? The dog. I want it to be the two dogs mom. Right, so for the gemstone part of this pole, we pulled aragonite, which is also a sacral chakra um, and root chakra crystal. So aragonite, it says, release your emotional baggage. So um, basically anything dealing with the sacral chakra, that's like I said, your center, your sexual energy. So we hold a lot of our um, trauma there our bad experiences um, from just life or like through our partners we hold that in our womb so you want to use these crystals these sacred chakra crystals to help unblock and to let go of that energy okay so release your emotional baggage now there's the orange calcite pool so if you pick fuchsite this is your picks okay I love how they really correspond to the crystal. You see that? Look at spirit. So, um, let's start with our heart chakra card, okay? We pick Malachite, okay? Once again, we pick that. That was the card that dropped out of the pile, okay? So, by the way, I also make Malachite jewelry. Um, I have some earrings, Malachite earrings. Um, I can make you a ring, custom, intentional piece. Just check out the shop, the AfrocentricHippieShop.com. And um, yeah, hit me up and we can create a piece together. So if that Malachite energy is really resonating with you, 
um, it probably means that you have to do some heart chakra work or maybe you have to balance because it's overbalanced or underbalanced but definitely working with heart chakra crystals will help balance that so we got forgiveness our message for our heart chakra is forgiveness you'll find freedom and forgiveness okay let that shit go let it go sis okay um any crystal some more crystals that's good for the heart chakra will be malachite rose quartz um unikite fuchsite um azurite which is also good for your throat chakra as well um let's see what else jade emerald um so they're gonna be your green and pink type crystals um pink opal all right um rhodonite votochrosite those are going to be really really big heart chakra crystals okay so let that shit go sis it's holding you back okay and our crystal pool is rhodonite okay like i said that's also another heart chakra crystal to help balance you know that love energy whether it be for self or for others um but yeah find a way to forgive that's crazy though because they're both saying the same thing so if you pick that few shite you really need to do some self-work and reflection on what do you need to forgive what do you need to let go or who do you need to forgive what you need to let go of and push forward let it go so that you can you know obtain what you want to obtain all right few shite. all right so we're on our last pile okay and our last crystal which is rose quartz okay so if you chose rose quartz this is your pick for your chakra you pick the chakra the sacral chakra card all right and it says passion turn your fear of change into excitement for change all right and tiger's eye we actually pulled tiger's eye in both parts that's crazy right so whoever picked rose quartz that's what you really need to hear tap into that um sacral energy tap into that sacral energy and tap into that solar plexus energy but also incorporate that heart energy as well okay so tiger eye gives you for me it gives me manifesting it gives me abundance and prosperity as well but protecting at the same time tiger's eye is really good on protecting and drawing in abundance you know and um prosperity so our gemstone pick card that we picked was also tiger's eye this is what tiger's eyes look like i also have some tiger's eye earrings in the shop right now um 100 copper made with love as always and um yeah so you can wear your energy so the tiger's eye card says overcome your fears okay tap in okay use that sacral energy do your sex magic okay use these crystals while you're having sex okay tap in for me tiger's eye really embraces the you know approach it without fear like just approach it like I got this, you know, even though it's scary as hell, I'm going to do this and I'm going to tap in so that, you know, I can get what I want. And for me, I think um, personally, what that says to me is, you know, of course, I've been saying on my channel or on my, my page that I want to tap in and give y'all more visual content, you know, more content like this of me, you know just talking to y'all about the shit that I have in my shop and about me and how you can use these things to incorporate them into your life okay um like I said I feel like that definitely I can resonate with that because you have to overcome things that are uncomfortable 